Kola Yehawa Bahashim Yehawsha Brakatham Kola Yehawa Bahashim Yehawsha Brakatham Kola Yehawa Bahashim Yehawsha Brakatham Alright And that's all praises to Yehawa Which is the father And uh, in the name of his only young son Yehawsha Alright And Shalom Israel Um I like to touch on the topic Right, that many people don't know about, all right. Um, people that are in the Christian church or in the Catholic church, right? The Lutheran church, all right? All these various different churches, and they don't even know about this subject. That's straightforward and it's clearly stated in the Bible, all right? All throughout the Bible, all right? Now, um, the, the topic is Does the Lord hate? And can we hate? Alright. So I like to start with Romans 9 and 13. Alright. And it reads. As it is written. Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. So this is the word. This is the words of the Most High. Right. Coming straight out of his mouth. And it's saying. That he hates Esau. Alright. But he loved Jacob. Alright. Now who is Esau? Right, a little backstory. Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white race. All right, the Caucasians. All right, white people, but they're really not white. All right, as you get just a little backstory on it. Right, Esau and Jacob, they came out of Rebecca. All right, Rebecca is their mother, and Isaac is their father. All right, but Jacob was chosen. And Esau was rejected pursuant to Hebrews 12 and 16 through 17, right? So it says Genesis 25 and 25, and the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So Esau is the progenitor of the so-called right race, all right? And who is Jacob? Jacob is um, the progenitor of the 12 tribes of, the, of Israel. All right, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, All right? And white people aren't aren't actually white; they're red. But the point I want to touch on is that the Lord hates, All right? The Lord hates, and He doesn't love everybody. All right. So let's get let's get another scripture about that about the Lord hating. All right. This is um. Let's get uh Psalms, All right? Five and five. So Psalms 5 and 5 says, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So the Most High hates all workers of iniquity. Alright, now what's a worker of iniquity? A worker of iniquity will be someone that is, is staying in sin, in the midst of sin, and that is wicked. Alright, and that is transgressing the law of the Most High. Alright, and if they're not doing those things, then they're compelling and making others to sin, namely the, the children of Israel, right? Because we're basically the only ones that are held accountable for our sins, right? Because sin is what? The transgression of the law, First John 3 and 4, all right? So the Most High, if you're in sin and or you're compelling others to be in sin, all right, and, or in aka in iniquity, right? Then the Most High is going to hate you. Alright. So we got two scriptures stating that the Most High hates. Alright. And he doesn't love everybody. Because what? If you go to Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Alright. So the Lord is a man of war. A man of war does not love everybody. Alright. You got to know what, what power or what God you're dealing with. All right. Now let's get um. All right. So we got two scriptures. All right. Now let's get uh Proverbs. Uh, six and sixteen. All right. These six things, doth the Lord hate. Uh oh. So the the Lord hates six things. All right. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him, meaning that the seventh one. Is a is the uh the one that he hates the most, 
right? A proud look. So the Most High hates a proud look, meaning a, a man that is, is always boasting about what he has, right? A lying tongue, right? You can't lie. Or then you'll be in the midst of sin, right? And hands that shed innocent blood, right? Self-explanatory. And heart that devises a wicked imaginations. So a heart that devises with wicked imaginations. Like what? Right? You you may be plotting to, to commit adultery with another woman, right? But you marry, right? Or... Or you could be a woman and you're uh, plotting on how you could cheat or commit adultery on your husband, all right? Or you might be plotting on how to uh, 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 go and kill your, your, your brother, right? That's, that's devising wicked imaginations, all right? Because that's wicked, all right? Feet that be swift in running to mischief. What is mischief? Let's look at the footnote. Right? Evil. Right? And what is evil? Evil is sin and iniquity. Right? A false witness that speaketh lies. Right? You have false witnesses against um, our, uh, the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, which is Yahweh Shah. Right? Or Christ. Right? A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Now, uh, What's sowing discord among brethren? Right? What does that mean? It means that you're, you might be telling one brother something about another brother that didn't happen. And now you're sowing discord, right, among your own brethren. Right? Now, now these two brothers hate each other just because you told lies about them. Right? And you're telling lies and you're sowing discord. And therefore, you're a work of iniquity. Therefore, the Most High will hate you. Alright? And also, let's go to the Apocrypha. Right? Let's go to the Apocrypha. So it says, Sirach 12 and 6. For the Most High hateth sinners. So the Most High hates sinners. Alright? And sin is transgression of the law. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. And keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Alright, so the Most High hates sinners. Alright. Let's go back. Alright, now let we got four scriptures saying that the Most High hates. Alright. So we got four, we already got four scriptures. Now let's touch on the topic about can we hate? Alright, as people, can we hate? Alright. So let's start with Amos 5 and 15. And reads, hate the evil. It literally just says we got to hate the evil. All right. Hate the evil and love the good. All right. And establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So, so the Most High is saying to us, or this, these are God's words, and saying, "Hate the evil and love the good." All right, what's the good? It's the righteousness, right? Um, because if, uh, and what's the good? It's the Most High and the law, right? That's the good. But the evil is sin, wickedness, right? And if you uh, want to go into the spiritual sense, it's Esau, right? Because he, he is the progenitor also of. Or he makes, he's a wicked on the earth, basically, right? Pursuant to uh, Malachi 1 and 4 and Job 9 and 24, right? Uh, now let's get, um, let's get Psalms. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so log it. This is Psalms 139 and 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. Right? Who's the wicked? Um, namely, the Edomites are the wicked. Right? Malachi 1 and 4. Right? For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. So the Most High has enemies. Right? 
Here's the point. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? So, so, so this is David, right? And he's saying, do, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. So David was a righteous king, right? He was a righteous Israelite, but he's saying that he hates. So if David hates, we can hate also because he's righteous, right? I hate them with a the perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies, all right? So we, so we, we can hate, all right? We can hate our enemies, all right? We're, we're commanded to hate, all right? That's righteous hate, but with righteous hatred, right? Indignation, all right? So let's, and let's also stay in Psalms. Let's get Psalms uh, 130 and 7. 130. 7 and 7, right? Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. So this is talking about um, Edom, right? The Edomites, the children of Edom. And it's also um, calling them the daughter of Babylon. But here's the point. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So what's what are the little ones? Babies, right? So this sounds like hatred right here. Because in verse 9 it says, Happy shall he be, happy are going to be the Israelites, right? That taketh and dasheth thy little ones, your babies, the Edomites' babies, against the stones. Now that, was, that sounds like hate right there, right? That sounds like... What David said in Psalms 139, I hate them with the perfect hatred, right? If you can take a baby and dash him against stones, right? And what has the baby done, right? A baby can't fight anyone, right? But still, right? Happy is that man. Happy are, are going to be the Israelites that are going to be dashing these babies across the stones, right? Now, that sounds like hate right there, right? And this is in the Psalms. This is the Word of God. Alright? Now, there's one thing that we can't hate, though. Right? There's one thing. Let's go back to the law. Alright? Leviticus uh, 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So your brother, right? Oh, let's keep reading. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor... And not suffer sin upon him. Right? Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Right? So you're not supposed to hate your brother. Who's your brother? It says the children of thy people. Right? Your brethren, your kinsmen. Right? You're not supposed to hate your kinsmen and your brethren in your heart. Right? Those are the only people that you're not supposed to hate. Right, but the other nations are counted as our, our as our enemies. Right in in the book of Nehemiah. Right, those are our enemies. We can hate our enemies, but we're not allowed to hate our brothers. Right. And let's get one more scripture. First John three and fifteen. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath internal life abiding in him. Alright? So if you hate your brother, alright, you're gonna be a murderer. You're a murderer. Right? And no murderer can get into the, the, the kingdom basically. Right? So those are the only people you can't hate. But these other nations, you can hate them, man. Alright? Because they're going to slavery um alright by the hand of Mahashiaki Hawasha. Alright? Alright. Shalom.